Make sure you go past the end of the boat ramp, Blake, before you take off. Pass the end of the boat ramp before you take off. Slay. Pass the end of the ramp before you take off. <laughs> Go and push the button. <laughs> Give it some. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come off the gas. Sixteen. Idle past the end of the ramp before you take off. Two speeds, <laughs> idle and flat out. Thanks for not winning Gippsland. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't tell it was Wally without the wrap on. Did Manning River Marine make you take it off because they're embarrassed about you? <laughs> Past the end of the ramp so you can see there's no traffic. Well, I'm going fishing. You take your own photos. Put in the PFD go.
Thanks. Let's clip into this thing. I like being organised. All right, let's go fishing.
not going to go in there because it's too shallow and I fished it yesterday. I'm going to work my way back up this bank. Okay, let's go fishing. Pretty easy choice when you got one rod on the deck. I don't think we're gonna get much rain today, really. Couple of showers. It'll get shallow here, it's only five foot now. We're gonna get up to about three foot up in here. So yeah, we'll fish bents for the first hour or two this morning. And then once, if we get a bit of light up, we're gonna sight fish on the edges. Found lots of big yellowfin of all things yesterday, suspending. Mainly in the top lake, but I reckon they'll be doing it at the bottom lake too, so. Any bits we found yesterday that had rock on the bank like this were would hold fish. Yeah. Flathead were annoying on the bent minnows yesterday. Got three in a row that were just freaking donkeys, yeah. Normally don't catch any flathead in here. That was telling me the water was too shallow. Mm, it was just the, 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 they were not, the brim weren't the dominant prawn eater in there, the flatties were, so. How did you like the sting in the eyes on the way across? <laughs> it started raining. <laughs> it's like, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, I sandblasted. 
It seems like there's not many boats coming up here, probably because the fishing was rubbish yesterday. But I've learned over the years it's not worth sight fishing until the sun gets higher. Might even come out today. Oh, is that a boil? Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him on it. Has he got it? Yep. <laughs> he had that in his mouth the whole time. <laughs> The elephant looks like shaking his head. No, it's a black. A little bent minnow. Thanks, mate. Number one, medium size. Chomp the bent minnow on my favourite seven three SK bent minnow rod. Which I may or may not have borrowed from Tom Slater and he's never getting it back. Just quietly. Oh, Jesus. Hey, settle down. Settle down. Need a camera. Do you remember, app tournament or? Why am Let's get the key tag involved. Two. Got a towel here if you ever get wet hands. Right, let's go. Yes. Black brim, length 320. That's a good start. I'll take five 320s today. Time is 7.18. 320. He was, that was a weird take. He just slurped it and he was just sitting there shaking his head on it. He was on the whole time. Just swimming at us. See how shallow he was too? He was only... You never go too shallow. What I like about app tournaments is you don't have to do that bloody upgrading. Uh, digging in a live world to get the fish out. Screw that. So the other thing I've learned about Malakuta that Chris Hickson taught me is, if you're struggling ever, put a black vibe on and throw it that way, not this way, and you'll, you'll You'll catch plenty of 20 hates. There's always two and a half kilo limits sitting the other way. Okay. 
actually going to get the heavy out. It's a question, isn't it? I reckon what I should do, put my rain jacket on anyway. This one dry and warm. Oh, there's my PFD. <laughs> I knew I had it out. Now I've got two out. Couldn't want a better morning for you know, an overcast, no wind. That's the recipe for keeping them up. The other thing I learned is if you get a black brim that's not committing on the bent, they like it when you just roll, like slow roll it underwater. No action or anything. You just wind it down and often they'll belt it. They don't want to eat off the surface. There's something, there's a swirl, there's something going on in my liver, I reckon. You can see that? <laughs> Just Might have been six inches long. Which we'll take this morning because there's no me legal size. How do you like the three fish limit for non boater? Eh? Makes you relax. I only got to catch three. Just catch the big ones. Yeah. Well, it's harder from the back of the boat. That's that's why we made it three because it's um. You need to be, to catch five as a non boater is harder than catching five as a boater. Yeah, it used to be. Then we had a few non boaters complaining, oh, I don't make it not five, but that was always just the really good guys that uh, would always catch five. So it's like, no, no, I'll make it three. And if you're the lucky Joe that catches the big one, then good on you. And if you do that two days in a row, guess what? You're not lucky Joe. You're skillful Joe. Well, since we're the only boat that turned up here, we'll do this. If this bank slows down, we'll go up and we'll do the. Because Robin E. Shaw's just hanging around those snags. We haven't got any by that point up there. We're going to turn around and go back up in. I got about four yesterday morning up in that backwater. But I, to be honest, I like the look of this rocky bank better than the mud bank in there with the conditions like this. Because my theory is if they're not in there, they're just going to be, with the low water, they're just going to be further out here.
Every cast looks great on this rock bank. That's shallow enough. What is it? A no, but I mean, what's on the other end? Hard body? Slippery dogs to go get it. Can't flick it off. Is it down deep? Yeah, I think it's when I was just too blocked. Oh, tangled up and went down. Give us a shake. Give us a go. There you go, mate. Misspent use right there. So I'm always thinking these little points are the best spots on these on these rock banks. We'll get it, we'll go get it. Slippery dog? Yeah, we'll go get it. Don't leave a hard body there. You leave a plastic under the water, but. Probably won, your, won in the grand final last year. I mean, like you won in the prize pack. That's where the slippery dog motor come from, so let's just have a look at this. So grab that net. We'll use that to hook it out of the tree. Well, it's got assists on it, hasn't it? Is that a fish under the... No, that's... I thought it was a fish tail hanging out. <laughs> yeah, just give us a net. We'll see if we use the net to knock it out first. Rob's turned around, so we're going to go and just do that entrance channel while the light's still really low. 
we might come back and keep on going on this bank. Super fast. Robbie will get real pissed when we have to be on in here, but he should he should have pulled it himself. They're not necessarily around the snags here, they're just in the shallows. She is super, uh, super shallow. And just trim this up. Yeah, shallow it is in here. That's the bottom there. You're winding the snag in. Is that, a, is that a plastic or a hard body? Plucky. I reckon you get snags coming in with you.
So update for the live viewers, we're um, fishing with Ryan today, who we reminded lost the grand final last year by 70 grams. Chance to make up for it today. Win yourself a, win yourself a Malacuta ABT. Uh, I've got one fish for 32 centimetres. And Ryan has three snags at the moment. Hope you guys are limited snags, to be honest, haven't you? I reckon they'd go pretty good. 30 or 40 kilos worth of trees. Got to be fishing around the snag. If you're not getting snagged, you're not close enough. So we're going to spend the first couple of hours this morning while this light's low and this shower's going to help fishing top water and some real shallow water. And then hopefully go sight fishing for the rest of the session. Not a good day for sight fishing though with the cloud, but we'll make do. Bite on top water. Flaky. The plastic of the top water are one foot apart in this country. <laughs> the bottom's one foot down. That one feel like a brim? Yep. Hello. That one sounds like a brim. Ryan's just quietly catching in the back here, not, you know. Brim or a flatty? Got that flathead rattle. Yeah. Oh, no, a brim. There you go. Do you think I'll bring you the flathead spots? No. That's a big one too, that'll do. Come here, old bean. He's all good. He's all good. Yeah, that's 30, 30 plus. Number one. You're like, Morgo's brought me to this shit sandbank where we're not going to catch anything. Neck minute. Oh, I got a flathead. Neck minute. Oh, it's a brim. Crazy how shallow they get in, eh? My number one tip, do that down in the cockpit in case he flicks and goes overboard. <laughs> so if he flicks down there, he ain't getting out. Or if he does, he's a super gymnast. Is he on a grub? No, uh, no, just a flick bait. Nice, die with flick. Sing out if you want me to take a glory photo for you. Because remember, you've got to take one today. Or at least one during the tournament. 
31 and a half, nothing wrong with that. That's about 650 grams, 700 grams. Key tag should be there. It's on the end of the string. Yep, just throw them in, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Now, there you go back, go back. Yep. Okay, record catch. And then hit enter from the green there. Give it access to your stuff. Let me take a photo for it. She, all, she nearly done. There you go, that's in. Nice. Glorious brim. No, no, we'll go portrait mode, make it look some okay. Gotcha. Shark him. And write him in the book, do, the, do your homework. The book's beside the seat there. If you do it as you go, you don't have to worry about doing it at the end. Pencil, it wasn't it, it would have just fallen out beside, out beside the seat there. You could lift that whole thing up if you can't get your fingers down there. See that whole grey thing? It pivots up. Look, you lift it up here like that. Yeah. Oh, is that a wake? They're all pretty chunky, the blacks in here at the moment. And good nick. Oh, look at that bow over scared something in there. Oh, there you go. I hope that's not a flathead. I did catch a lot of flatties in here. No, it looks like a brim to me. Yep, that's definitely a brim head. Jeez, he pounded at that one. Here you go, another 30. Happening this morning nice and shallow. It's the peach face. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. He wasn't going to get off, that was for sure.
But what the Jason Blacks? Shut your mouth. That's it. Mouth shut. Thirty-three and a half. Three and a half. It's a little bit bigger than that one you got. Okay, three, three, five. And the time is seven forty eight. Man, I would love a bag full of those ones today, that size. That would be the business. Um, normally, four and a half kilos a day is good, which is probably a 34 centimetre average for 10 fish. Yeah, I'd def I think I'd spook some when I hit the real shallow water, and but then one of them come back and had a had a chomp chomp. I reckon both yours and mine. See, there's a bit of a sand edge there. Is that where yours come off? That sand edge. Okay. Well, mine was definitely on that sand edge. I reckon. There's a bow wave over there. I'm gonna turn around and eat that old mate. I was pretty sure that was a flathead eh, until <laughs> the way it bow waved around like a big flathead swimming in the shallows. Pleasant surprise. Yeah. Both of the brim that have eaten it, and I reckon yours too, they were, when they want it, they get it. They, they're not mucking around. No, we got Tassie on. Yeah, we went to the Classic last year because we didn't have Tassie on. That was such a cool trip to the States, to the Classic, that was awesome. 20 Carl fans. I reckon it was pretty cheap too. It was like five grand a head. You stayed at a really nice hotel right in the middle of town. We had all backstage passes and went to the after party. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, Gussie came back. He came to the Barra Tour again this year. It takes you three days to go through the expo the, that they have with the show over there. See, there's some fish moving in. I don't know if we can get in there, if it's too shallow or not, but I'm going to have a go. It's only a problem. Oh, there's a bow wave. Eat it. Oh, look at that swirl. Oh, he's going to eat it. Come on. Yep, on a slow roll. <laughs> he 
Here's another brim. He's like the smallest of them, but he's fighting the hardest. Thanks, mate. Sweet, another 30. The conditions have come good this morning. It's number three from the morning. I don't know if you can see that on the live stream, but he was, uh, he swirled it three or four times. So a bow wave first. In a couple of swirls, and then I had to slow roll it just under the surface to get him to commit. Shut your mouth. They want to keep their mouths open, these ones. These are 31 and point something, I think. Shut your mouth. I'm happy with the size of these average fish. Three twenty, and the time is seven fifty-four. So we've got two left each. Was that? Oh, it's a worm? Is that a, yeah, it's a blood worm. Don't tell me we're having a worm spawn today. They can make it hard fishing because the brim just eat those blood worms all day. And there's all white shit. If you tap it with your odd tip, they explode and all the white jizz comes out of them. Yep. So, oh, mate, you, when they spawn, you see hundreds of them, eh? Must be right on the moon now. Is that another boil? Going on, Robbie, you got him? Uh, got to fish, if you're fishing top water, you just got to fish it dead slow, eh? Hold, like, annoyingly slow. I got three and uh, Ryan's got one. But just go, I would go as shallow as you can. They're in the shallow shit. This stuff looks the best but they're all when your boat's nearly hitting the ground. Like this is this deep here, one third of a rod.
Bow wave, come on, eat it. Who's gonna eat it? Don't eat it if you're flat at all right. I'll change my mind. Oh, see it? <laughs> That's a brim. That's his tail fin. No, he hasn't got I was I was warning it under. You see if you you throw in there, you catch him. He's hot to trot. Oh, another bow wave up there. They only have to move to make a bow wave in, in six inches of water. Pulling all the snags out to the boat. The bow waves in there too, just stuff moving around. Oh, oh, he didn't hook up. <laughs> he just sipped it, sipped it. I reckon it was the one that was bow waving too. I reckon he turned around and had a squeeze at it. Oh, is he interested again? Something's going on around my lure there. There he is. Got this on? No, he hasn't got it. <laughs> You'll catch him on the way through there. See, they don't mind coming back and eating it and eating it and eating it until they get it to. They're pretty dumb for a smart fish sometimes. But it's very subtle cues, isn't it? Like there now, they can see there's one under Malua now, just tiny little ripple on the water where they turn around. There's bow waves here. When I touch that electric, something took off. So we're amongst a lot of fish here. Oh, see that one closer to us? Bow wave there. Yeah, there's more fish than you realise on this flat, I reckon. I only caught them yesterday into about um, probably another 200 metres up here, then they all turned into flathead, so. I'm not rushing to get up and out of this area yet.
Oh, is that you? <laughs> I heard that. It definitely doesn't sound like a flathead. Is he around a lay down or something? No, you got him? Yep, you got him out now. Just put the poles down so I don't let him go around the poles. Lines onto just two thirds of his limit. For this event. Do I need to pull up the lecture or? Yeah. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to it. Just don't get too hard on him. Yeah, you still got your stick. <laughs> oh, this sounded such like a brim. How disappointed are you? Not shaking anymore. You know, shake your head if you bite off. Look how he's got it across his face. That's prob that's a decent flabby. First for me. <laughs> First flooding on a top order. Well, I'm glad that was you, not me. I got three in a row yesterday, that size and bigger, eh? It was just annoying. The first one hit it like a brim, like that one just sipped it, it was just. The second one crashed it like it was life dependent on it. Come on, give me two more 32s. So update for the live viewers, uh, I've got three in the low 30s, Ryan's got one in the low 30s and a 60 centimetre flathead, which he thought was a brim. And it's, we're going pretty good for the first hour. If we catch him this rate all day, we'll be laughing. The spot I'm fishing is, a few years ago I won a tournament here in that next bay up, but that next bay up has got that much less water in than when it was good, so I'm actually fishing further back out here. And there seems to be a few bloom around. I got a few yesterday. I worked my all the way into that bay. And as soon as you got up into the bay, all you caught was floodies. So I'm just working the mouth of it, sort of, to get the brim, and we've got four so far, so. And a few more bites that haven't hooked up. I don't believe how that floody slurped it like a brim. It was like a little, I would have bet my life that was a brim. Mm. 
And that was on the Slippery Dog. Flathead catching machine. But yeah, we haven't, there's been no little brim so far, I like it. No minimum size for this tournament. Where if the minimum size was 30, it wouldn't worry us at the moment. Realistically, I reckon if you want to win this tournament, you need an average of 34 centimetres of fish. About 800 grams, I reckon. I reckon eight kilos will be real strong. And someone will get it. Just gotta make sure it's us. How's that sound carrying from that boat all the way back down there? That boat's, I reckon, four kilometres away. Yeah, didn't get many bites on top water yesterday after eight o'clock, but it was sunny, so I reckon that'll, I reckon it'll extend it this morning. It's got to be somewhere in this lay down, eh? Nick Minute, giant flathead eats it. It's weird that you think they hang around snags up here, but they don't really. I caught a few next to snags, but I caught just as many out in the open, so I think it's just accidental. I think if they're roaming around feeding, that's exactly what they're doing.
turn around pretty soon because I didn't catch any brim further than this yesterday. Which is counterintuitive because I've caught hundreds in there. But the depth of water is not right, I don't think. And it won't be better until three o'clock this afternoon. I have another here, a long casting when they get right up in the shallow. Which is that dilemma. Actually, oh no, it is shallow here. I thought it was deep, it was just a darker coloured bottom. Oh, is that a bow wave? Do you reckon Robbie was getting frustrated watching us catch him? <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, blacks are weird, eh? If you're not holding your tongue right, I don't, I don't eat it. Okay, what's the bets that they hit there, hit on the way out? Whoever's up there. They can't slow down, eh? Yeah. If they slow down, they've got to come all the way out of my idle. Yep. Oh, they keep going. Oh, here goes Moth Popper. I don't know if I'm going to get that. It's not be too far in. Well, that was a shit knot, obviously. I'm not saying there's a pigtail on the end, but it does look a bit suspicious. <laughs> yeah, that's next thing, see if we can go. Where the hell did that land? In front of the. Oh, yep. Yeah. Far out, it's a long way across, eh? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to make it in there. Nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and get it. It's too far across. Some kid will find that one day and think it's sensational.
I'd rather it pop off on the cast like that than pop off on a fish. Now I'm hitting the bottom here, it's shallower in there. No, that's just the channel markers. They, there's a school camp at the end of this thing and they flog the big boats up there and to, to keep between them, I reckon they've dug their own channel propellers over the years. So it's like another six inches deeper in there, but you've got to keep it on the plane, otherwise you're, otherwise you're doing that. <laughs> Let's go and fish that area where we've got those extra, other two or three there. So we can get one or two more fish here before the sun breaks through. Plowing. See that whole edge there is, hasn't been touched this morning either. So we can probably pick up and fish all of that still. Oh, there's one boat, one boat out wide, but not really that much. I reckon he should have his nodding up the front to get that engine higher out of the water. But that's none of my business. Come on, a couple more bites before the sun gets right up.
boil. Want to be a garfish, that one. There is a heap of garries in this joint at the moment, aren't there? Did you see heaps yesterday when you are out? There's plenty. They're all about that big. Mm. All right, let's get over to our little sweet spot over here. Things weird, we didn't catch any right there yesterday, they were all there, and today we're catching them all there. They are very mobile. Holy Jesus. Mark Healy, five for 4.7 kilos already. He's fishing down the mouth. Yep. Five for three eight. Mario, five for three eight. Cromo, five for three five. Jesus, look at the fish. Is this the right event? <laughs> that is off the charts. I got three for 2.2, I'm in 10th. Mark is definitely on a roll at the moment. Yeah, yeah. They would all be, they will all be fishing right down where the, where it runs in. I saw them all down there yesterday. Yeah. That is crazy. That's, uh, so that's a 36, 35, 35, 35, 34. That's crazy. I wonder how the noddies are going. Three for 2.2, you know, you better pick your game up. <laughs> In 17th with one fish. Oh, I don't really know if I should look at that scoreboard now. Nah, we can get them. We can get them. No one's got any, um, there's no real big fish like they were at Gippsland. Like in Gippsland, they, you can catch one fish for, oh, we got him. Nice. I'll put the poles down to stop us. That's a brim boat. We'll take a little one on the dog. No, he's all right. Little yellow fin, but I oh know he's a little black. Take him. He's another couple hundred grams.
22. It's 22 centimetres more than he had before. Jesus, what was that? I don't know if that was spooking or eating. One way to find out. That sucks. Let's pull on all the ends and make sure it's not going to come out. Pick them on both ends at the same time. Oh, it's tightened it up. Well, that sucks. I wonder if I can fish over it. We'll see how much it annoys me. My call is plenty. sucks. What if I cut the tag ends off it since it's so tight? My theory is, if I bust off, there's enough braid trailing after it, I'll just be able to go catch the braid in the water. mildly annoying.
The unique bit about where we were getting those fish is that was sort of a gravelly, sandy bottom there, wasn't it? Whereas this is a bit more mud, I think. We'll go and do, we'll go past this rock point. Half a rod length, it's deep, it's deep, deep shit this is. It's going closer. He ate it off the top. That was like a, you hit it like a elephant, that one, eh? Raced up and grabbed it. If he'll come back. I wouldn't if I was him. I don't think it was that big. a bit of fish. Can eat it mate. Yep. This is when I'm thinking about that knot in the line. Look at how size that shakes on him. That's a good fish. Come on, mate, get that knot on the reel. <laughs> Come on on the reel. It's on the reel now. <laughs> He's an alright one. Healthy black on the band. He's the ones we need, eh? He's bigger. He's probably the biggest one yet. There's a few of them in that bay, eh? He has to be near a killer, I reckon. 
They just don't fight as good as yellow pin, eh? I love it. But they fight like junk. No, he's not. He's just solid and 33. I better be like 35. Three and deep. That's just one of the deepest blacks I've seen, eh? That's they usually come skinny out of here. Deep in the guts. Is it 33? Thirty-three at eight forty-five. Pretty good. That top one, what's going late? Give this bank a bit more of a cast. I think there was a couple on here. Was it just me? It was all mate fish in the middle and now he's fishing the bank. It's encouraging how hard he hit it. Those last two have had a proper go at it. The last two fish have had a proper go at it. They're not just like sipping it down, they're like, boom!
Me too. I'm thinking, what, what is it? Duck with something in his mouth. It's holding something. It's like I caught a fish and I'm not letting it go. I don't know what to do with it, but I'm definitely not letting it go. Yeah. Because they say, I'll caught it once, I'll be able to catch it again, no worries. Somewhere in here, got the first one this morning, I think. to go and work back over that stuff and we'll go deeper into that little bay and back out to the trees I reckon. Don't really want to fish after old mate here. Old mate, old Matthias. It'd be real, I would love it if it got clear now, clear and sunny. That would make this, yeah, the side cast on might be good. The big yellows were just hanging with the head down a little bit yesterday. They changed, they changed to like a real grey yellow colour. They just sit there like they're retarded. Then you, they don't eat much you throw at them apart from really lightly weighted plackies. The dude I took out yesterday got a 36 yellow fin on a on a sprat with like a hidden weight in it. Yeah. A yellowfin or a black? Yellowfin, yep. Yeah. <coughs> That's in something that school board so far, eh? I do thought, I really thought today would fish tough. So for the live viewers, you can get a scoreboard update on um, abt.org.au. I'll just take you through what's happening. Mark Healy has 4.7 kilos for five already. Mark Crompton has 4.1. 4 Stephen Pryke, 4. Cam Whittam, 3.8. Mario, 3.8. Matt Keaton, 3.7. Charlie Sakayo, 3.1. I'm in ninth with four for 2.9. There is obviously a patch of it where it's happening. And I reckon it's right at the mouth. Since that's where I saw Cam and Mark yesterday. Oh, I think, I don't know if it's, there's no wall. It's just, there is like a, a rocky channel that fits a few boats in it. So I'm sure I'm sure Cam's gatekeeping that pretty pretty tight. <laughs> anyway, we got one more each to go to get our limit. So I'm pretty happy with how our morning's going to be honest. To be honest, if I get one 37 centimetre fish, you move up into the top three or four from here, so. I'm not unhappy at all with how the morning's gone. I think I caught three in here yesterday morning in an hour. So I've given it a bit more time this morning with this with the cloud and stuff. And I don't think we've worn it out for tomorrow. I think there's plenty plenty of fish in here. You just you get the ones that are up feeding.
So what did I tell Rob Neeshaw to do when he came in here? Go real shallow. And what do we do? We went real shallow and caught two good ones. <laughs> You got um, you get sucked in by the snags out there. Oh, they're gonna be in the snags. It's like maybe if no one, if 27 boats didn't pound them yesterday. She nice and shallow now. One third of a rod deep. Remember, were we here a year or two ago when we had the termite hatch? Last, last year. Uh, it was one morning where they were landing all over the jetty and everyone's boats, and the brim were all up shallow, just sipping them off the top. Not surprising that it was a pretty good top all today. It was overcast like today. She has uh, got still though, I like it. We're coming up to sort of the back side of that flat where we got them on. See the sand in there. Come on boys, it's just like a prawn. What an amazing power. Yep. How did they come up They just left it all, you know, on the on the beach of the car. That melted. I reckon. <laughs> I don't know. There's all dig marks in here, eh? I've been digging in here. Ran out of water there. Start to hit the bottom. Where was that? Over there. It's Better that's a broom on top over there.
Seems to be just dying off now. The top water bite. To get an extra hour and a bit than we got yesterday out of it though. Fish flopping around out there. Let's just, we'll go, we'll fish these things on the way out. Just for fun. I think we're going to, and we'll, we'll do this um, rocky point, that one, that medium one, halfway out. I'll be able to see a few on that and fish the shallow rock stuff. We burnt this out for the morning. of rain.
I don't walk out of that pond anymore. Catch gear on tiger. Oh, let them boil after it. Bloody flathead. <laughs> That's nah, right, don't worry. Bloody. Butt crew here and get rid of him. I was waiting for the lure to float back up and I couldn't see any colour. Yes, yeah, slippery bugger. What's that, say, Brim? Good. I hope we can, I'll come up and we can start seeing them. Just catch him now.
Better get myself out of sight fishing bait, eh? In case they come and knock them. That one can go back in. A bit of st stench on it. A bit of dirty sauce. Probably exactly the wrong conditions to do this in. Probably the wrong conditions to try and sight fish in. But the water's pretty clear here, I thought. It's like there's a mud there. See them been digging up. I wonder if that's digging or just. I know there's a big fish in there. Digging or boatway. Eat it. Got him. He's just swimming along that one. Oh, there's more big ones in there too. See them all coming out now? See how many digs are in there? I thought there was a mullet nearly when he was swimming past. See, they got a funny colour. Dude, what are you going that side for? Right. I didn't think it was that big when I hooked him. It was probably bigger than I think. Also, two pound line doesn't help. The black, the yellow, on the flick bait. Yeah, I thought it was a mullet. I just wound it past him and he turned around and, okay, is that mullet gonna eat my lure? And that mullet ate it and then turned into a brim. He's all right, eh? Mate, it's actually it's not that big, but he's on the flicky. As planned. And you're right, that's number five. He's longer than I think. Just going to be 335, maybe. Hold his nose on. Come on, hold the nose. Stop opening your mouth. Mouth open and time's finished. Thirty-three and a half.
How cool. See all the muds back through there? There was heaps of big ones in there, weren't there? Didn't see many of them. See, you hook up and they all scatter. Can go under that. Three, three, five. Well, that's equal biggest one. And the time is 9.19. So many digs back there, eh? Fresh, fresh digs, eh? With the we'll come back and have a look there in the wall. All right, time to bring on the thirty sixes. When we go along the bank doing this, come and, come and stand up the front. It's easier to, easier to see what's going on. Yeah, you the bait, I think. You can throw in there if you like, I think they're mullet. I reckon there might be some digs down here too, some old digs. Throw one on that, uh, I think they might be digging on that rock or log or whatever that is there. Throw one in there. Not like a spastic. Hello, I'll come out of there in there. If something swims out, could be a dig in there too. That, that light grey. Whenever you see an old dig, you throw in it because they never know. Sometimes the fish sit above where they were digging. Big fish. Yes, there's a big one. See him? There was two in there. Damn. Should always just throw on it, eh? Just in case. There's one here. Too neat. There's one in there on that dig. See him? See that dig in there? There's a fish on it. See some up on this rock. Oof, look at that big black. Holy shit, that was a big fish, that one. <laughs> yeah, like a bit of a heads up because you're about to run over one that big. He was proper black, like a sooty runner. We really need to be heading that way so you can see better. It's a bit glary this way. Speedo. Like when you have a really good rock edge like that, just throw it in there anyway. Like right on that edge there, yeah, so you can. Oh, I didn't know there was another boat right here. I reckon they're not in close enough to see him. I'm just going to keep on going behind him. I reckon he's throwing to the edge, not to fish.
Look at that. Oh, is that a... The mullet. Mullet. Mullet, mullet, mullet. They're, they're, they're... Are they mullet? Yeah, they're mullet too. But they look... They bring out that colour. There's one just, I just roll on his side down below this. I don't know if he's going to come and eat it, but yeah, that's how you see a lot of them. You just see them flick on their edge, yeah. Dig in here. Yeah, the freshly dug up sand. Do you want to? I'll just throw one on top in case they're on it. But yeah, you saw all the grey sand back there. It was, it was a good six or seven fish. Chomp. There's, there's a little fish. See him swimming to the right there now. He was not worth it for the limit. See one, throw on him. You want to lead cast him a bit, like about two metres in front of him. Yeah. Oh, there's one, that's a brim. Look at that, that's a big one. Going to the right. Grey patch there. See the, all the shit that's been stirred up on the bottom. Often they're fishing it, eh? And there's one digging, and there's normally another one looking at it, seeing what the first one's dug up and missed. I can't see that there, though. Is that a fish in? Is that a fish in there? Did I just land his back? Yep, that is one. Don't move. It's just taken off to the left. See him going there. That's right in front of him now. Oh, he's turned off to the right again now. You see him in close? Sort of coming out towards the boat a bit now. Yeah, they would have. Go on, throw on him. You go. He wasn't digging, he was just sitting, but he was grey on that brown background. Do you 
to throw speckies in here, just throw them right in over that shallow crap and just sort of see if you can, like a top order nearly, just sort of see if you can tease something out of it. What's your on? Unwanted gulp or? Yeah. Hello. They'll eat anything that sinks the right way in front of them, so. What is it, a little crabby? Yeah. That'll do, donkey. They're brim. Look at them. Oh, I spooked them. Shit. See how big they were? They're big elephants. It's about four of them. They're in front of this rock. Oh, see them there? There they go. You gotta, yeah, you gotta lead them a bit. See, prime, prime bit of point to sit on. Oh, there's one. Look at them. Oh, you need it, mate? No. He's buzzing around it a bit. He knows it's there. He's coming over it now. No. Nah. It's another another one here. So don't, don't lift your arms up above your head when you're casting, when you're like this, because when you go like that, I'll spook. So you can do the little low casts. Population of them on that corner, and hopefully these ones on these rocks will be on that beach, digging out around the corner here when we get around the corner. So, yep. just speculate just in case there's another pile of yellows on there. Big one, it was up on the edge there. As it came over the edge, he took off. That's a brim, drop it on him. See, they're not, they're not that afraid of the boat, really, are they? As long as you don't make any sudden movements. It's a bait, yeah. 
So the other thing you can do here too is throw that top water right into the edges and if they're up there feeding on the edges you can get them on that too. I reckon it'll get clear up the back of this little, little inlet here. Alright. Yeah, these are five kilos now. That's crazy. Stephen Pryke 4-2, Mark Crompton 4-1, Cam Whittam 3-8, Mario 3-8. I got three, I got three eight. Sixth. Ten kilo. You need 3.2 to be in the top 10 at 9.30 in the morning. That's crazy. Crazy good. Right. Put some 36s in and throw some of the 32s out. What leader? There might be a bit heavy that leader on that for this sort of fishing. What is it? Is that six? Yeah. Eh, might be right. If you find you get rejections, go to go to something lighter. Yeah, I got three and four. Is that a dig there? Throw on that dig yet? Yeah. That definitely is a dig. I reckon there's a fish. There's a fish coming over yours. I saw him swim over your way. You've nearly got to plonk it on their head and then not give it any action at all, really. Yeah. So there's like another. I reckon there's another dig in there. And if they eat it, they're going to eat it on the drop. And if you twitch it, it sort of spooks them, I reckon. Is that a brim on top of that dig there? That's all right. Is he going to swim over to it? Or is it just a mullet sitting on a dig? I reckon there's a brim in there too. We just want on his side. There's one that's on his side in there. See him? That's a brim, that one. Come and play with the big prawn that just landed in the water, mate. Just a little bit dirty, the water, isn't it? Just to see him properly. I reckon there's one there. Looks like a dig, doesn't it? Dig dug. There's more digs on the edge than I've seen in years at this joint this time. Flattered taking off, that is. And then that grey stuff is a dig. Why do you reckon that is? Don't know. Sometimes it, sometimes they dig a lot and it's in weed and you can't really see it. So there's not much weed on the edge this year. So we can see it maybe. Definitely something, oh, not, that might have been boat waste on that thing.
mullet coming hot. Yeah, that's a big mullet. If that's a broom, that's a proper one. As we get further up here, it gets um, water gets a little clearer. I'll dig there. Nothing on it. That a broom right in shallow. You see him over there, right shallow. Oh, oh! He ran up to it and ran away from it. Don't move your line for a sec. I'm just going to drop it in front of him there. See if he wants that one. Take that one. Jeez, it looks like he was going to eat it, didn't he? He didn't. He can still eat that one. He's not too spooked, I reckon. There's one in there, is it? The brim. There's another one right there in that dig. Come over and eat my little mate. Two fish in there, there were. <coughs> we screwed them both up. See, one little bit of rock and that's where they are. So also there will be fish this way as well. So. Plan B is if you get the shits doing this, you just put a vibe, black vibe on, throw it that way, and just and pop it. That's the old Chris Hickson plan for when it goes all the shit. Wherever you see in fish on the bank, there are more fish out wide. <coughs> yeah, me either, but I did it, worked once, got, you know, catch two and a half kegs when you. When you had not much, it was like, oh, there's a brim there. Look at it. Is that a brim? Is that a move? Is that a brim? Look at it. Yeah. Oh, see how nearly he ate it? He was on this dig here. See the... See, there's one there. There's that one there. Very subtle, aren't they, the way you just got to... just All you look for is that dorsal fin movement. Oh, that one was following me. Yeah. You throwing him. He was hot for it. He sort of came following, ran ahead after it. Oh, that big one there too. Jesus. I might pull off the bank a little bit. So we're running them over. There's a dig over here. Oh yeah, I see that fish. What am I saying? Do I dive gently just to mask our boat noise a bit? Yeah, there's, there's a four kilo limit right there in there. Well, not for non-boaters. There's like a three kilo limit for non-boaters. Take three kegs, yeah.
getting dirty, I reckon, as we get in here. Let's uh, go to the other side and we'll work our way back out along that rock point. What's that? Nathan. Whoa. See? I told you it's a good deal when uh, the boat breaks down. On the practice day, you always do good. Structure, but if they're up in the shallows, they might come up and ping it. Is, is that one in there? See that dig, and there might be a brim on top of it. Is it a brim on it? Yep, it was. You swung off as you moved your arm. See how you cast like that? <laughs> Gotta cast low. Big stingray in there too. Throw at his back because sometimes the um, brim follow them. Something moved in there when that landed. Spooked him, I reckon. Big mullet in there. Always the bits of bank. 30 metres around these big lay downs are worth a look too because I reckon they live in the snag and then they feed on the on the beach beside it.
Oh, uh, we can go back and get him. Wait, wait. Oh, Come on. All right. Just sing out when you're in a tree. I'll we gotta get him out. Might save you retying a leader or something. So update for the live viewers is uh, we did all right this morning. We got five on top water. Yeah, no, four on top water and then one sight fishing so far. So the top water bite sort of died down a little. So now we're sort of on the edges looking for bigger fish. Ryan's got two, just needs one more to get his limit. And I've got about 3.8 kilos with I get some 36 centimetre ones, which I'll, we got ones that big in pre-fish on the edges yesterday, then we can do some upgrading and see if we can get close to some of these leaders. Five kilos leading at the moment, which is crazy good for Malakuta. In a big field like this, one angler fishing. I actually want to be on deeper banks, but I'm just sort of waiting until the sun gets. Is that a brim? Yes. Oh, that's a mullet. No, that's a mullet. Wait until the light gets a bit more. Hopefully these, these might not break up today. That weather. Doing the vibe thing? Deep plucky, yep. Yeah. It's not a bad plan just to get your, get your third one. Uh, here is five foot. So it'll be like seven foot out there maybe. All right, when we get up to this point, there should be some, definitely some out wide too. That rock coming in the water.
there's some good look at the digs in there they're pretty fresh there's all through here there's a lot of dig could be a stingray How's the big blue girl going all right? Can I sneak on the inside or do you want me to go around? Are you, um, are you coming this way? Oh, yeah. I think by this time of the day, there's nothing that hasn't been hammered yet, so. Doing any good? I got five and Ryan's got two. Uh, mine are all over 30, but they're not, um, there's no big ones there. They're all 32, 33s. <laughs> I'm seeing them, I'm seeing them on the edges though. If you, like if you want to look up that rock edge there, we saw what, we saw 50 up along that edge. Yep. And you can recycle them, eh? You just keep on going back because they, like, recharge. It's, see that next point up, the next big point that sticks out? On the beach, just this side of it, there was a shitload of them digging too. Like you'll see all the grey dirt and there was four or five of them all in there. Hear them eating on the rock through the hull of the boat. You hear the cracking. That's fish feeding on the rock. Yeah. When you have an aluminium boat, you can really hear it. Got him. Brimbo. There you go. Big flatty? Just a pest flathead. Once I saw a flathead on the beach and around the corner here, but I thought it was two brims swimming next to each other. But it was a, it was the front and the back end of a flathead that was giant. Good looking. Good country in there.
Lizard Master. Well, I'm looking on live out there. I can see Brim just swimming around at about six feet of water. Yep, oh, just on the bottom, yep, just moving around. Oh, small boats. I tell you what, I'm gonna go and uh, we're gonna go into Top Lake, I reckon. And um, there's a bank along there that had a heap of yellowfin on it yesterday, so I might go and attack that. Now it's not windy. For the live viewers, the stream may drop out. So, and if I won't be able to start it again. If I stay up there, so warning. If you want to see some fish, just rewind a couple of hours. That's why they caught them. Go there. On the ground. Does this can go there? Don't forget the Holy hell. Mark Healy has 5.7 now. That's ridiculous. He's a machine. Um, yeah, present for you too. When we're running in the rain. Is that dirty? There you go, that'll stop the rain sting in your face. At least I can hide behind a console. Thank you. 